Welcome back everybody once again to Ragecraft 2 Insomnia. I am TJ the Obscure with you and before we get to the business of this episode I have a short little montage for you to enjoy.
All right, so yes, I went back to the hunting grounds, and honestly, I've been putting off this video for a while now, and it's because I just hate that area, man. Whenever I went back there and died, that horrible, horrible death, I just, I just couldn't bring myself to go back. And really what it is, is it's a combination of trying to record and commentate while doing it. And I was like, well, why don't I just do a, do a montage of the area instead? So that, that allowed us to continue on in the series. And we have now Ember Block number six. I also went back to Ninja Academy. Yeah. But we did get another upgrade block, so that's fantastic. Yeah, I went back to Ninja Academy looking for emeralds because uh, Zunar pointed out that I had missed a couple. Um, and I searched, like, the ending area quite a bit. And I, was, I couldn't find any. And I was like, okay, maybe it's at, like the start of the area, although I didn't think it was that long. And then I found the obstacle course thing, the little, um, the little timed obstacle course that we have to make it through. And so we're going to go do that this episode before heading back to the hunting grounds to actually find the wool. But that is the plan. We don't want any of that. I think Adrenaline Rush is pretty good. Um, after killing a mob. One thing that I could see it doing, especially when, in like the little jump puzzle stuff that we're about to be doing, is um, whenever the speed activates, like throwing me off on jumps... I could definitely see that happening. I just don't kill enough mobs to really make any of these all that useful, I don't think. But yeah, we'll go with Adrenaline Rush. I suppose. Uh, yeah. And I'm wearing my ninja gear so that we can go fast, fast, fast. And then I have my knockback thing. Oh, and I was going to grab my spell book so that we can actually have 100% knockback. And not have to deal with any mobs when we're doing the course. Uh, there we go. I guess... I mean, we still have our bow. Which I found in the hunting grounds. But we may have to switch to this, like if there's a bunch of skellies around or anything. To Ninja Academy we go. And actually, I think it's going to be smarter to go to the intersection, because it's kind of at the very start there. Um, but yeah, in addition to just kind of being like, I don't want to do the hunting grounds, man. I was also a little distracted with... Uh, Render's newest map, Untold Stories 8. Uh, I'm happy he changed the title of the map because it was like a... He like redid a map that they had released previously. And it was interesting because they... It's a, it's a his first collaboration map with uh, Asymmetric. And they released it as like a beta, I guess, but they didn't release it under their names, even though I guess it was pretty obvious that it was theirs. So some people played the original beta, and then they re-released the map uh, just recently. And so I've been a little distracted with that. Oh, look, you can see the things are still here. Um, Here we go. Yes, read before entering. Bonus challenge. Dear Young Ninja, this is a small bonus challenge aimed at improving your jumping skills. You only have a few minutes to complete the challenge or grab the loot. The timer will start as soon as you enter the area behind the glass door. If you are too slow, the precious loot will be destroyed by a massive explosion. I will be waiting for you in the final chamber, so be prepared for a little fight. Don't worry, I will go easy on you, and don't be afraid to strike back. This decaying body is only a temporary vessel for my immortal soul. Um, I must have gone in here, yeah? Okay, yes. Yes, been there, done that. But yeah, I guess uh, let's do it. I, you know, I just remember that it's kind of like a parkour course, right? Um, I don't really... Okay, yeah, we definitely need to stick to our items here or else... Things could end badly. I should have taken some speed, huh? Maybe to help out a little bit with the jumps and stuff. I do have no I don't ha I don't have any ender pearls you guys. 
Zero of the Ender Pearls. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's mean. Oh well, there there goes that. Okay. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna run now as fast as we can to the very end because trying to get back up to actually complete the course as intended is just gonna waste time. I have a feeling. Which is unfortunate. I would I would actually like to try to... I, I don't think I did it the very first time, at least. Um, I could be wrong about that, I suppose. Uh, go, 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 run, jump, run, jump. Uh, got it, got it, got it, got it. I don't really need anything else, I don't think. Is he still following us? No, he's not. It's gonna blow up here soon though, right? Or does that like end it? I wonder... Maybe that ends the timer? I hope we don't explode. Go ahead and grab... Uh... Gold, and we teleport back. Yeah, you know, I believe that there was a map created not too long ago called like time legends i want to say um that i think has like time dungeons in it that's always been something that i thought would be interesting basically a map made for speedrunners because i this was a long time ago and i think it's before i really got too involved with the ctmc i uh got involved with these blind speedruns and, um, gosh, who was involved in it? There was a map maker. I can't remember his name now. It starts with a V. And he had he had a couple of really interesting maps. Very challenging. That, that were kind of maps, I would say, that are like made for like Race for the Wool players. But they're very obstacle course type maps. And actually, I, I find that I really love those maps. Um... It gives us seven. What does this have? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Don't mind if I do. And we should actually switch back to our other gear now, I think. So let's head back to the intersection. So, yeah, it was like these blind speed runs, and we only ever did like three of them, I think. I think I technically would have won one of them, but I, I died or I got lost or something. I couldn't find, like, the monument or, or something happened. Um... But is it is it Speedy Cube or QB? I think is the name of one of the other speedrunners that was involved. Um, I don't know. There was uh, quite a few people, and so that whole concept has always interested me. My inventory is just a mess. Oh, I think I put everything in my Ender chest because I knew that I was gonna have a hard time finding it otherwise. Um, yeah. I think that we are basically good to go at this point. We need to head... Oh, I need to grab the, the treasure maps. And we need to figure out the math here, because I think we got to add... So the first three digits of their sum are the negative x-coordinate. Okay, let me get a pencil and paper and stuff real quick. All right, so the coordinates I got are negative 400, negative 923. Um, so in this direction. Oh man, I'm, I'm sad now that I'm not, um, that I'm not all jumpy jump. You know, I think I would like this area a lot more if is it like on the other side there? I need a 400 923 uh, Yeah, I think I would like this area a lot more if we if it didn't have the dogs with the potions because they're just so in inconsistent and trying to hit them and stuff is just uh, just a pain just a big pain. But otherwise, I really like the, the general idea behind this. 
923. Right next to the creeper, huh? Uh, kind of, sort of. I hope I did my arithmetic correct. It said underneath the gravel, right? I think this is it. Is this it? Oh man, I got all scared thinking that this this is not it. But it it is it. Oh my gosh. You have killed my people, you you never take my treasure. Oh, it's the Dwarven Commander. He's just a little guy. Look at his pretty, pretty clothes, too. So lovely. The diamond is it's so bright and, like, turquoise. Kind of funny, actually. I don't think I have... Oh, man, I kind of forgot about you guys. I don't think I have, um... Any smite, do I? I don't think so. Alright, and the Dwarven Commander has been killed. Probably kill a wolf here. But how you have to get up to the potion like that? Hey, why did that not work? See? Because it's so inconsistent like that, I think it's because I maybe wasn't on the same Y value is what happened there. Iron. So all that work that I went through getting iron from crumbling abyss was clearly not worth it. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, we're not good. Ooh, an efficiency four thing, more protection four, it's looting. Fantabulous. Probably should have killed the wolf first, but oh well. Alright, so next up is Trinity Caves then, I believe. Uh, but that'll probably have to wait for next episode for now. Let us simply return back to the monument to get the wool where it needs to be. Jump! I will be so happy if I never, ever, ever have to return to that place ever again. I think I got most, if not all, the emeralds out of there. Oddly enough, I found like three or four emeralds kind of all in like one little area. Like whenever you enter, kind of off to like the right-hand side. In chests all very close to one another. What are we doing? I didn't grab the wool. I didn't grab the wool. I didn't grab the wool. What was I saying about hoping I would never ever have to return there ever again? Gosh dang it. Well, I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> Alright you guys, that's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.